Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anon Jr. And as you've noted throughout the stream, if you're watching live or throughout the series of uh, videos, if you're watching on YouTube, we're going through uh, Games of My Youth, SNES Edition. And the first couple of episodes were were a little fast, quick look at some of the, the time wasters, the side scrollers, the... Um, the, the things that you do when you don't want to focus on much, but just play some games to kill some time or something that, uh, is, uh, low brain power, shall we speak? And you'd be forgiven for looking at the volume of games that we covered in that and think that's most of what I did with the exception of Doom and Wolfenstein, uh, some of my early entries into PC gaming, I spent far more time doing adventure games. Like uh, the last episode, we did Ultima 6, my introduction to the Ultima universe. And unfortunately, it was the SNES port of the game. I kind of want to go back and do the PC edition of it. So if you're if you're wondering what to do for Season 3, um, kind of keep that in mind. If that looked interesting to you, I would definitely be willing to do that for Season 3. And I would be willing to do this next one as well, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. If you remember last week when we did the Classic Edition, you'll know that I went through The Legend of Zelda, the first one, with, with the really bad graphics and no clue, just, you know, here's a sword, here's your map. Go at it! Good luck! Um, which I actually got second. My first introduction to The Legend of Zelda was The Legend of Zelda 2. And uh, so I played that, then I went back to play the original, and then got the uh, Super Nintendo and got A Link to the Past. <laughs> which is kind of ironic given the nature of this series, isn't it? So <laughs> let's start up our link to the past and our journey to the past and uh, play the game that spawned a thousand memes and <laughs> really solidified a lot of the Nintendo lore for the, the Zelda franchise, uh, especially the whole thing about the chickens. Don't upset the chickens. <laughs> But again, we're talking 91, so the, the graphics-wise and, and gameplay-wise, this is a step forward, at least, from, uh, from the Ultima 6 port. And fortunately, this was written with the Super Nintendo in mind. Yeah, I know, those chickens will end you in a heartbeat. <laughs> All right, let's start a game. And, oh yeah, typing without typing. Here we go. And... Do I have room? Oh yeah, I almost forgot those days too, when you didn't just have a big, long, however much, however many characters you wanted to fit in the name, you had a certain number of characters, and if you didn't finish it, you ended up with um, really funny abbreviations. Alright. Here we go. Help me. Please help me. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda, in case you forgot about me from the previous two games. The wizard has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. He seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. <laughs> I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. All right, let's promptly leave the house. Um, but first, let's do the favorite <laughs> favorite of all Link activities, smashing pots, and you got the lamp. Now you can light torches and see your way in the darkness. All right, don't leave the house. Got it. Walking out the door right now. Oh, yeah. The days of picking up shrubs and seeing what lies underneath, like uh, rupees. Not the emeralds that you find in Minecraft. <coughs> I like to give Arcadius a hard time because he keeps calling the emeralds in Minecraft rupees because he is... the Zelda is his jam. This is his thing. Uh, he's kind of upset that this was the last Zelda game I played. Uh, if we can find the cartridge somewhere, I've been told that I really should play Ocarina of Time. 
Oh yeah, that's right. She's gonna fuss at me until I hurry up and make my way to the dungeon. Yada 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 yada. Hidden way in the garden. Gotcha. I remember where uh, there was a hole in the ground that Gramps fell into. That should get me the sword. Don't mind me. Or maybe he was in the hole in the ground. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> there he is. Oh, I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave in the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus the power on the blade. Hold the B button. Then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. You can do it. Even though you've clearly had no training because I'm just now giving you a sword. I mean, you can use the technique. <laughs> Save the princess. Zelda is your... Dot, dot, dot. Here we go. And... Oh, you shorter magic power. Okay. That wasn't wrong. Da 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 da! Ten bucks! Oh wait, no. Uh, five bucks? Oh well. How many hours did I waste cutting the grass and cutting shrubs to go find stuff? Yeah, this this was a fun game too. This is another one that spent a lot that I spent a lot of time on, and I very unashamedly went ahead and bought the Nintendo Power magazine because I, for the life of me, I got so lost in a few areas. There's a couple of the puzzles that are they were unfair. They were very very unfair. I await the comment. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I'll admit I cheated. You see, kids, this was back in the days before, you know, wikis and fandoms told you the answers for free. You had to go pay for ma a magazine that if you didn't get it while it was out, guess what? You didn't get it. You just had to hope that a friend had it. Oh, oh. No, oh, no. Where are you? That was a mistake. Now that that was one of the things that did make this game a little less fun to watch is cutting down all the shrubs, looking for looking for all the hearts, all the hearts in all the wrong places. Oh. Thank you. Take your lunch money. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the music. Oh, no. That wasn't what I wanted. That wasn't what I wanted. There we go. That's the button I wanted. I gotta remember which button does what. sorts of other stuff too. Like, could you pull that? No. One of these was one you could pull. It was one of the things that made the puzzles uh, interesting and frustrating at the same time is there were things you could pull, things you could push, and all sorts of other extra stuff. So you had new new dimensions. It wasn't just hack and slash. It wasn't just uh, it wasn't just the quest log. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Run away! Do you have heart? Please, sir, may I have some more? Okay, good. That's a little better. Oh, 
Oh my god. Yeah, th this was uh, this was definitely one of those landmark games for Nintendo, and uh, depending on who you ask, it was actually listed as one of the greatest video games of all time. Uh, some four four million four million copies sold worldwide somewhere around there. And there were a number of sequels and other, and I just, you know, it took what was already a very popular franchise and really um, accelerated its growth. Oops. This is what I get for trying to adventure and talk at the same time. You'll notice the multitasking is not a strong suit, but again, I fall so easily into the habit because I would sit here and, you know, just put some music on and play the game, get lost in the game, just get so sucked in. Um, there's something with one of these, wasn't there? Or maybe not. No, I gotta get to the dungeon. Down, down, goblin town. I mean, I'll take your money, but I really want your life. Well, that didn't sound right. <laughs> I also kind of hate that they kept the annoying beep, 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 beep of imminent death. That started with the uh, the very first Zelda game. Ooh. Come on, get him, corner him. All right. So you get the idea, and you get things like bombs and arrows and shot puts and things. You'd have to find all the hidden secrets you get new magic items so in addition to to the lamp you could get some pendants and upgraded armor and upgraded swords and um just all sorts of fun hours of adventure and even more hours of frustration And you can tell how much, uh, you know. Because I'm still trying, I'm still playing. I know I should be moving on to the next game. Alright, let me move on to the next game. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'd play that game forever. Alright. Let me get to the, uh, there we go. Let's get to the credit screen here. And this is where I say thank you for joining along. For you folks on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe to get notified of when new content goes up. If you have any quips, queries, quotes, conjures, or complaints, leave them down in the comments, and I will try to reply back as soon as I can. And um, if you're watching live, get ready. I've got two more games I want to do, which means the stream itself is going to run just a smidge later than I'd wanted to. Um, partly because uh, I am taking a little bit more time in between sessions, so I probably should have expected it to run later than uh, later than normal. And part of it because I'm getting lost in these games. I love them so much. I still love them now. Uh, I, I could probably not buy a game again for a long while and, and just go back through these uh, again. So... We're going through the SNES. I've got two more games on the list that I definitely want to cover as a part of this Games of My Youth series. Chrono Trigger, which should normally have been in the Super Nintendo run. I'm not going to show you because it's Season 2. For Season 2, we're going to walk through Chrono Trigger. We're actually going to use the Nintendo Power Guide uh, that I dug up while helping Mom clean and... <laughs> I didn't even realize we still had that, but of course we did. And so that's going to be, that's going to be season two where we'll go through step by step, adventure by adventure, quest by quest, 
and uh, really crank the nostalgia up to 11. If any of these other games that we're playing uh, tickle your fancy and you want to su suggest one or more of them as possible ideas for Season 3, don't please let me know. You know, leave a comment on some videos. Maybe I'll get a poll going when we get closer to the end of Chrono Trigger. Um, one of the other adventure games that we played last week was Crystallis. That was another favorite. It was a runner f runner up for uh, for season two. It lost out by a little bit. Um, so, with all that said and done, YouTube folk. I will see you tomorrow with a new video. Live stream folk, hang on. I've got two more games, so let me uh, close the curtain and start the prep for the next session.